it's a privilege to be here having this conversation with Matt. It's uh, in this amazing venue. A great man called Thomas Sankara once said, we must dare to invent the future. And that is exactly what I think Matt is doing with media. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. I'm just, by the way, I'm taking in the Now Pass artwork here because uh, it's uh, it's very close to my heart. Our uh, our CTO creative director, Aaron Baker, Nostalgia created it and it looks beautiful. So shout out to uh, Greta and the whole team for making it look amazing and really excited for this conversation. Yeah, give it up for Greta. Come on. Give it up for the NFC organizers and give it up for Ina because I'm really excited for this conversation. So it's a pleasure to be here. So I would like to discuss with you media innovation. Let's start with the age of AI. Everybody has been talking about AI. Even my grandmother knows about AI now, so it has been more mainstream. But what does the future look like for NFT? Yeah, look, so, you know, one of the things that's really interesting is, and I'm going to get to AI, but just to kind of like preface, um, you know, since, since day one, when we started NFT Now um, in January 2021, uh, we knew that we wanted to build a better media model. We knew we didn't want to just go do, do the same things that, that have not worked, honestly, for a long time. I, I come from legacy media. So prior to founding uh, NFT Now, Now Media, uh, I was at Billboard for six years. I founded Billboard Dance, the dance electronic music brand there. And I ran Spin Magazine as editor-in-chief, and I ran content at Modern Luxury, the lifestyle publisher. So I know legacy media really well, and I know how broken it is, right? And so one of the things that we found is, um, you know, one of the reasons why we feel Web2 Media is broken is uh, the rise of programmatic advertisement created these sort of perverse incentives for publishers to maximize audience scale versus audience depth. It's all about getting the clicks. It's all about gaming the algorithms. It's all about um, trying to run up the numbers without really thinking about what connection you're creating. And what we found was a lot of media publishers uh, were really serving their advertisers more than they are their audiences. And media consumers were becoming loyal to the headline and not the brand. And so one of the things that we've seen is that that, but that business model has been getting diminishing returns for a long time. And now with the rise of AI, it's dying and it's soon to be dead. Um, you know, digital publishers can no longer rely on Google search as a big driver of traffic anymore because a lot of people, A, you have like the Googles of the world doing AI summaries to answer their questions at the top. But B, a lot of people are just going to chat GPT and are going to these different things to find it. Um, and so gone are the days of like your kind of like SEO, like content mills and all of that. Um, at the same time, uh, social media algorithms are changing and they're no longer driving people to sites. You look at X and Twitter, uh, any external link there is like the reach is throttled. And so one of the things that we also noticed is that uh, with the rise of AI, now, people also can't trust what they see, right? Like with the rise of deep fakes, with the rise of, of AI misinformation and the like. Um, you know, just an example that we use is um, there was an a AI-generated photo of an explosion at the Pentagon, a fake photo, um, that uh, was, was tweeted out by, a, by, a, by a, an, a, an account that was purporting to be from Bloomberg, Bloomberg Terminal. It had the gold check and everything on X, and it was fake. And it took $500 billion off the S&P 500 in a matter of seconds. So this is a huge deal. This is moving major global markets. And AI is never going to be more, AI is never going to be like less sophisticated than it is right now, right? It's only getting smarter. It's honestly gotten smarter since we started this conversation. And so like we are going to need safeguards in place for, for media to be able to say like what is real and what is not. And so one of the things that we're building at Now Media is a product called Sovereignty, which is a Web3 content tool suite to help digital publishers authenticate their media uh, and also create new revenue streams and uh, seam seamlessly interface with uh, existing workflows, the CMSs. We actually just deployed it on base in, uh, in uh, March, uh, February, March of this year. So it's been great working with the base team. And now we're working with a lot of digital publishers to help them integrate that into their workflow. That's amazing. It's, we, I feel like when we started looking into, into media, myself and uh, the community that I'm part of, and seeing how trailblazer guys have been at Now Media. And so what can we expect as a community? Um, how can we support the work that you are doing? Yeah, look, uh, I really appreciate that first off. And, and second off, it's like, 
you know, when I think about on-chain media, that we talk a lot about on-chain media, um, there's kind of two buckets to it. There's the actual minting of media on-chain, right? That's something that we're doing to authenticate media with sovereignty. If you go to nftnow.com, you'll see every single one of our articles. If you click on it, it has the verified uh, badge for sovereignty. You can find the IPFS, you can find the base scan, you can find the uh, OpenSea, all these NFT. And then there's like on-chain communities around media, the second bin. And that's that one of the things that we've been building with the Now Network and the Now Pass. So the artwork that you see, as I mentioned, um, is is the artwork from the Now Pass, which is our NFT membership pass, uh, which gives you access to the Now Network. And the Now Network is a curated, aggregated media hub um, that basically draws in not just our content, but content from Web3 publishers all over. Uh, you can actually curate your feed by deciding who you want to follow, what you want, what podcasts, what publications, what video channels, etc. And it pulls it all into this aggregated feed, but the really fun thing about it is that it also rewards participation. So if you go on there and you you know you you uh you read an article or you watch a video or you contribute your own content, you actually earn XP points, and those XP points are going to be able to be exchanged for rewards in our in, in the rewards marketplace that we're launching. And so the yeah, whole idea is basically to pioneer a community centric media model. As we said before, you know in in traditional media. Uh, because of these, this clickbait race to the bottom, because of the incursions in privacy, because of you know the these like misaligned incentives that I mentioned, uh, a lot of people have become loyal to the headline, not the brand. Right? It's why all the same media publications are trying to game the same algorithms. It's why they're so interchangeable these days because they're either trying to get you to click or trying to like game it on Google, all that. Um, but we were like, wait a minute. Oh, we've been big believers that media companies shouldn't be serving you advertisements, they should be serving you opportunities. And so that's the idea behind the Now Network. And so it allows you to actually share in the value you're creating just by, by, by being a part of our ecosystem, by contributing, by consuming, by, by, like, by, by actually seeking out our content, um, you can actually earn rewards. And so I think that that creates a very different dynamic between, um, between us and our, our readers. It's the difference between an audience and a community, right? Uh, because as we always say, like an audience is aware that you exist, but a community wants to see you win. So to answer your question, if you want to support what we're doing, just be a part of it, you know, pick up a now pass, uh, join the now network, now.network. And, uh, we'd love to have you, you know, and we'd love to see it's, it's currently in private alpha exclusive for now pass holders. We've been getting amazing feedback from our holders on how to, uh, like how to improve the product and continue to iterate it. And, uh, we look forward to, to opening it up to more in the future. I really love. You can applaud. That's um, pretty amazing to me. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate how the values that you rely on are integrity and impact and innovation. And that is something that in this space we've been, uh, you know, striving for, we've been looking for. And having you lose this is something pretty amazing. I'm biased because I've been following your journey and the work that you've been doing for a while, and uh, I'm also part of the now past community. And uh, for anyone who wants, before leaving this conversation, what would you want them to leave with? What is the most important thing that you want us to leave? Yeah, I think it's like, a, a, first off, thank you for being a part of our community. That means a lot. And um, thank you. I know we have a lot of now pass holders uh, who are here as well. So thank you all for being a part of our community. Um, you know, I, I think it's like, a, it's an understanding that media is changing, but storytelling will always be, I think, one of the most important things on earth. One thing that we always say is like, what what is something that won't change in the next 40 years? And I think the importance of storytelling is that the way that stories are told will change, the way that stories are consumed will change. Technology has always driven storytelling forward from the beginning, from like the Gutenberg printing press to the rise of web, to the rise of mobile, to then the rise of social. And I think on-chain media is the next channel, is the next phase of that. Um, and so one of the things that we've seen is that those who embrace new technology um, tend to succeed, tend to be the ones that survive and thrive uh, in like the next phase of, of, of whatever that storytelling frontier is. Uh, in this case, you know, it's the next phase of the internet. And so I would just tell everyone that like, you know, think about it that way. Like on-chain media is, I believe, the future of storytelling. And uh, we're showing up here every day to build it. So uh, I just, I, it, feels, it feels really good to, to, you know, see a lot of people who uh, understand like that approach and that mindset. 
and uh, who support what we're building. And so I'm really grateful to, to each and every one of you for being here to listen and to everybody who's been a part of our community and helped support what we're doing. Thank you so much, Matt Medved. Everyone, a round of applause for Matt and uh, don't hesitate to join the NOW community. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you, Ina. Thank you. Real round of applause for Ina. Come on. Yo. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you guys around.